In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to weld the spider gears in a truck to give it positive traction. Here we're going to be doing it in this Nissan SUV. Um, this being the more difficult of the two types of axles to do this in. Um, this one having a removable third member, which I'll explain how to take out. It's a lot easier in a lot of uh, American trucks that have the rear cover that comes off. But the idea here is to, what this, what this does is you weld the spider gears to each other. That way when you get stuck and you, you're in a situation where one tire is spinning and the other is not, that, that will eliminate that and both tires will spin the same speed all the time no matter what. It gives the vehicle much better traction off-road. Um, this should not be done in a vehicle that you are driving on the street. There are better options. You can install a few different types of lockers. Um, this is nice because it's free. Alright, I'm going to show you. I'm going to try to drive up this off-camber hill. Just keep an eye on the rear two tires. You'll see that one spins and one does not. Okay, so let me show you how to identify what type of axle you have. It's real easy. This one has a removable third member, so when you look at the back of the axle, there's no plate, no bolts, nothing comes apart. Everything happens from the front. So you can see here, it's got these bolts that come out, and that whole gear assembly pulls out from the front. So to start taking this apart, the first thing you gotta do is take off the back wheels then you take off the there's four bolts right there that um, hold in the axle shafts then you gotta take off the drive shaft and then you take out the third member bolts and pull that out and then you can take the whole thing out and put it on a bench and weld it All right, so these four bolts have to come out. One, two, three, four. Okay, that, that might be enough. You don't have to pull them out all the way, just, just enough to get the third member out. The only thing stopping us here now is this brake line. If I touch it, it it's gonna have to be changed. Um, which isn't a big deal at all and I, I always put copper ones in really it's it's criminal that these auto companies are allowed to use steel brake lines they rust out and then you lose your brakes and it's dangerous and the copper ones cost about the same amount of money a drop more and then they never rust out so uh, whenever you're doing your brake lines always use copper Okay, this thing's going to need brake lines because this one's leaking here, so I'm just cutting them. Alright, now these axles can just pull right out. Okay, now the third member can definitely come out. This is what needs to be welded together. All those gears just get welded. So there's pretty much four points and then you can rotate this and, and weld it in every spot.
All right, it's a little hard to see in this one. Some of them there's more space, but you can see all those gears are just welded to each other now and it stops them from spinning. So now just rotate it and do every spot in the axle that you can reach those gears. Okay, I just finished welding up the axle positive traction in this car and now I am in the same spot where I was and I will demonstrate the difference. Okay, now both tires spin the same speed no matter what. 